everyone, it's Tracy Tischler, owner of Kickstarter Kick-Ass Life, and today I am talking about um, how much we punish our bodies, and I think how much we take them for granted. Well, and I know I do, I have, um, and it just started me thinking, uh, yeah, I was sick, so um, the very beginning of January I had that awful flu, I was sick for two weeks. Um, and then I had my eye surgery and I can't lift weights now for four weeks, four to six weeks. And so I'm still going to the gym and doing cardio or, you know, just walking or doing my normal stuff. Uh, but, I, and also, um, if you're new to my channel, uh, my brother has stage four colon cancer and has given kind of like a time limit to live probably within a year. And my other sister had two strokes last year and she's in an assisted living home. My other sister has MS and another sister passed away from cervical cancer when she was 42. And yeah, what an intro. Um, but, you know, I don't know, you know, and too with January coming up and you know, everybody starts these diets and, you know, we start to resolve to, you know, lose weight and, um, and, I think in that process, yeah, I did um, a video about how I had worked for Metafast and I had showed you the food that people eat and, you know, it's in a bag and, you know, yeah, portion, portion sized. Um, and I just really started to think how we look at our bodies from our our own perspective and again I'm talking about how I have and I just assume that I know and especially I think if you're a woman you can relate uh, I know I would start a diet or I would be it would be the weekend I'm like okay I'm gonna just eat whatever I want and then Monday I'm not gonna eat anything uh, so I don't know if that resonates with you and then Monday would come and I would get to like 10 a.m. and I would be like oh I can't I can't do this you know and then I would eat whatever I wanted to again uh, and I also have done fitness competitions again I've talked about this in a video and about actually how unhealthy that they were uh, you, you're not eating carbs um, you're at the gym twice a day and all for what um, to stand on a stage and have somebody judge me while I'm wearing a bikini and four inch high heels and you know and them just sitting there scoring me and if you do that you know no nothing against it I've done it twice but you think that it's healthy or other people think that it's healthy because it's fitness and it was probably the most unhealthy thing that I did um, especially you know towards the end when it comes to the competition they want you to cut water a lot of times um, you know if you have coaches or you you're you know coaching yourself and you're reading up on it they you know, want you to take diuretics so that you're actually don't have much much um, water in your body because then it helps show your muscles more and your leanness and that is not healthy for some reason you know, we think that we're afraid of fats and carbs, and carbs give us energy, and good fats uh, give us energy and health too. And so, the point of this is the amazing things that our bodies can do, and how to start looking at really being grateful for the amazing things that your body does for you instead of looking at at it like you need to punish it because it's not looking the way you want it or um, you know doing the things that you want it to do um, so I wanted to I just have a list here of some of the amazing things that your body does uh, there were 20 of them that I printed out here but I kind of highlighted the ones that I thought were most amazing so in one hour, your heart produces enough energy to raise a ton of steel three feet off the ground. So let that sink in. In one hour, your heart produces enough energy to raise a ton of steel three feet off the ground. That's amazing. The adult human body comp comprises 206 bones 
and more than half are accounted for in your hands and your feet. I thought that was so interesting. And then I started thinking about my hands and all the things that we do with our hands. Okay. Uh, the average person will lose 100 strands of hair per day and over 10 billion skin flakes a day. Um, so 100 strands. And I think to myself, this I have pretty thick hair and my daughter has a lot of hair too. And I don't know if you've had this happen, but in our car, it's like I could probably make a Chia Pet out of all the hair I find. And you think 100 strands, I wonder how many strands I need to Google this, are actually on your head approximately because if you're losing a hundred a day and you think that another one has to grow how does it catch up with the rest of them I, I'm baffled by that so that may be another video uh, the human eye can 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 distinguish up to a million different colors who knew there were that many colors and take in more information than the largest telescope known to man. And you know, with my eye problems, and yeah, again, if you're new, I had a pterygium removed from my eye. I had been dealing with dry eye. Um, I just had surgery on it, and I just had a procedure done to help my dry eye. I actually just got to wear some makeup today. Um, so, uh, so it's astonishing. I never really thought much about my eyes until I started having problems with them, and really how much I take in my sight for granted and my eyes and just how amazing our eyes are. Uh, the skin is the body's largest organ, but it's also a pretty big medicine cabinet. The skin secretes antibacterial substances and serves as the first layer of defense for invading microorganisms. Most bacteria that land on the skin die quickly. So again, you know, to stay healthy, your skin is already trying to protect you. And again, if you know, I'm kind of on a journey to just use better things on my skin, um, slow but sure. Uh, fingernails and hair are made of the same su substance, keratin. I thought that was interesting. During the first month of life, an infant is learning so many new things that the number of connections called synopsis between brain cells increases from 50 trillion to one quadrillion. By comparison, if the rest of the infant's body responded with equally rapid growth, she'd weigh 170, or he, would weigh 170 pounds by the time he or she was a month old. I mean, that's how fast that they're learning. 50 trillion to one quadrillion brain cells. Uh, the big toe is one of the most important structural parts of the body. That one appendage is responsible for helping us maintain our balance and propel us forward when walking. You know, when I started thinking about my body and appreciating everything, uh, I, is it kind of weird? Like if you look at your feet, unless I wear a size seven, um, so I don't know, average, quite small, I don't know. Uh, but that your feet, so that small size seven foot, whatever you know size you have is literally holding the rest of your body up and you know I'm a hundred and thirty thirty five pounds somewhere around there and so that small foot feet are holding all that up as I'm walking you know sometimes you're standing all day long um, so when you really think about it and like they said without the big toe uh, that's what helps balance you so, um, I don't know, give it a thought. The human liver is responsible for more than 500 distinct process in, processes in the body. It is so important that if a person has two thirds of their liver removed as a result of trauma or surgery, it will grow back to its original size in as little as four weeks. Isn't that amazing that an organ in your body, that your liver will actually grow back if they have to take part of it? I don't know. No, I thought that was amazing. Um, so, you know, I was thinking to myself, it's kind of like, um, you know, having a friend that every day gives you like this great gift and you're saying to them, mm, yeah, no, not good enough, sorry. Um, and you're mad at them for, uh, you know, maybe, you know, not giving enough. Uh, and so, I just want people 
to think about how they look at themselves and what they're, you know, in life coaching, we call it reframing is that you turn it around and look at the positive things. So instead of looking, uh, you know, maybe your body doesn't look how you want it to look, but then what, look at what it has done for you. Look what it does for you every day when you open your eyes, if you can see, I mean, that's amazing. Um, and I wrote a couple things down that I thought of myself that just personally, you know, have you had a baby? I mean, I've had a baby. She's the best thing that's ever happened in my entire life. And it's just such a miracle. And your body did that. Or if you're a man, your partner's body did that. Um, and you were a part of that. And I mean, your body carried to term a baby and you've had a baby. Amazing. Uh, your eyes, your eyes to see again. Um, I, I really have no words when I start to really think about um, just the uh, the amazing things that it, it all works together to that we just take for granted because we're just used to having it. Um, yeah, uh, your hands to pick things up. I mean, really, just even being able to, you know, type, I type at work, you know, do our phones, oh my gosh, what would we do if we didn't, you know, couldn't use our phones. Um, your arms to hold, to hold things, to hold your baby if you have one, to hold your grandchildren, to hold your friend's baby, to, um, you know, hold your pet. Uh, I mean, we have a cat and a guinea pig, and, um, you know, it just, to hug people, nah. Uh, your ears to hear, if you can hear, um, you know, to hear your baby cry, to hear laughter from anybody, uh, to hear your partner whisper something lovely into your ear, you know, just to hear, just to hear. <laughs> uh, and your feet to walk. Again, just talked about that, you know, just how amazing that once you think about it, that it carries you around and um, and I just think a lot of times we just don't think about these things and you know we wake up and again we're, we're mad at our body because we think that it's not doing what we want it to do or it doesn't look like we want it to look like and you know that we just need to appreciate uh, our bodies and quit punishing it for doing the things that it's supposed to. And we're in control of, you know, what we put into it. And so, you know, just want to treat it with kindness and gratefulness and, um, yeah. So, I don't know, I, you know, I know this is kind of deep, but it's just something, like I said, what I've been through recently with being sick and, you know, my family and, you know, just with my eye thing, uh, just how I didn't think about it before and really how every morning now I just um, will look at my body with gratefulness and not, you know, hate it for thinking that, you know, I don't look a certain way, I can't fit into a certain size jeans, you know, I can always change that. I can always start doing things different to, you know, make changes to my body. Um, but okay, well, I hope that helped. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great week and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.